Yeah, he's going. Oh, look, another one of these hard in the makings with Pete the Painter. Um, hope you find this interesting. And uh, could you use a thumbs up and uh, subscribe? Uh, I hope you enjoy. There's three paintings, I think, on this one. I'm not sure because uh, I'm changing, swapping things around all the time. But uh, if not, there'll be one in uh, to finish off the three paints in the next session, anyhow. So, um, hope you enjoy. Look after yourself. See ya. There we go. We're going to do this one. This is the one I was talking about the other day. Composition, that's all there is. Um, I just uh, I don't even know where all my brushes are going. Need a bit crook. And a little bit crooked, man. There they are. Um, what we'll do is we'll get into it. Uh, we'll get into it. Oh, Jesus. Where am I going with this stuff? Oh, yeah. I'm going to just start. One thing to do is, the only way to get started is just to start. Alright. Okay. Right. I'm going to use a little bit of oil. And, um, I'm just using a little bit of oil. Because this paint, this paint can mix up, mix in with my other paint anyhow. And see, I'm not copying it. too much about it you don't have to you know because it's just the plan and you've got all the chance in the world to move things around oh now yeah. see how powerful that was okay See how scruffy that is, and yet okay. See that? And then all I need to do is to all I need to do is I'll use this brush. I'm just gonna
That's it. That's all I have to do for that composition. Right? That's all I have to do for that. I should turn that down. I'm not going to do any more to that. That one's ready for some colour. And even though that paint's wet, I can still <coughs> all that ultramarine I'll mix in with the colour as I'm going along. So that's that one. Right, and this is, I'm just showing you, you don't have to get bogged down in things. You don't have to get bogged down. Okay. Now, and that was that one. Uh, I'm going to try this one out. It's a sunset, but I'm going to see what I can do with this one. And I'm only going to use my imagination. Uh, I'm just going to put that in uh, there. Uh. Alright, and then there, going around in there. I should have used acrylic, but uh, I don't, I'm not worried about it. I'm not really going to get too bogged down in any of this. I'm just going to let that go down there and that'll go on a slant like that. Right? Uh huh. This is going to be a sunset and there's going to be some clouds there. A little bit of orange, a little bit of red. Uh, and a little bit of powerful blue just in there. Yeah. Right. And then I'm going to I'm going to have a... I'm going to a tree come down there. Uh-huh. And these are just good little exercises. Okay, and then there's this. Uh -huh. We'll make that up somewhere, and then we'll have these, these dead logs going in there, like that. See that? 
probably a brain, uh, tree coming in there just a little bit. Uh, they just have big knob, knobs on them. Uh, uh, yeah, so all right, we'll put that up there and we'll take that back in there. We can mould that around a bit. And, uh, And then we've got all these reflections that are going to be in this water, right? They're going to, the reflections are going to be in the water of that sky. Alright, and uh -huh. Oh. Okay. I don't even think that one. No one's going to be all right. All right. So that's a bit squishy, squashy. I'm a bit negative with that one, but it'll still come up all right. And then we have. Uh, what else did we have? We did have something else here. Uh, <coughs> you must have excuse me, I've got a bit of the flu, I think. Uh, uh, I'll turn this one around this way, eh? And we'll use this one as a misty one. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we'll use a bit of root. Take a bit of root down in there, eh? And then there's this, that couple of dead ones. Oh, no, not dead ones. Uh, uh, that one there. This is a misty one. I've got to remember where I think all this misty, these trees are going to disappear there. And then we're going to have some blue bricks there because that's what is on that. Yeah. And then we could just push a couple of bushes in there. Okay. Mm. Mm. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Huh? Well, anyhow, there you go. That's where we are with these. Um, <coughs> I haven't talked much because it's a bit croaky. It's slow. Um, but anyhow, these, I think those compositions will work. What I'll do is I'll take that one out of the frame. And I'll put that in there just to see what it looks like. 
this is going to be the misty one, right? That's going to be the misty one. Alright, that's a misty one. And what can I do there? I don't even really, you know, I mean, I'm not going to do a monochrome. These are just, this, this is just going to be on this side of the river. It'll probably be very faint because it'll have the mist. So, yeah, we can put a bit of misty in there. Alright, that one's going to be alright. I think that one's going to work. But that's all you need. That's all, that's all you need as far as information goes to do your paint. You don't want to be, don't want to be bogged down in uh, two hours work to, to do your paint. Because if you're learning, you probably won't do it. You'll probably get sick of it eventually. Uh, I don't know how that green paint got in there, but anyhow, it can stay there for now. Uh, yeah, look, that one will that'll work out alright too. You watch the colours go into it. And, uh, yeah, that one will work out alright too. Just thought I'd give you a bit of a flick on that and just remembering this is going to have a nice cloud formation here, just cutting across there. It's going to have the beautiful colours in the uh, sky, the uh, uh, pinks and that of the sky, and that's also going to come down in here. And this. Could have probably been a bit darker. Yeah, so there's no, no big, um, I, I can get really technical with it, but I'm just trying to show you that you don't have to, because you're painting, you're still, the colour's going to make your painting. When you start putting the colour in, that's what's going to, going to um, do the job. And this little beauty here, I don't think I need to do any more on that one either. I think how long I've been doing it's just it's just taking a couple of minutes to wash in three compositions you know and now mind you I can get real technical and spend hours but I'm just trying to explain that you don't have to get bogged down in a whole pile of detail at the beginning of the painting because um, well, you don't have to. It's simple as that. And uh, now I've used a bit of oil on these, so these 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 uh, paintings will be a wit, bit wet for a while. But uh, I'm going to work through the wet in a minute and just see and see what happens. Uh, but I'll do that after and we'll have a look and, uh, and just see what happens with that uh, um, with the colour mixing in there with the oil of the uh, thing. Yeah, I'll turn that off for now. We can't have another load here, I think. 